welcome dr pudda to our webinar sir now okay welcome to our seminar webinar yes, thank you thank you sir thank you. okay thank you sir sonat sir <laughs> sir sunte pachhen sir principal sir somnath sir <laughs> sir can hear i think good afternoon dr poddar yes good afternoon sir bhalo achen <laughs> प्रणामी fine fine man okay good afternoon okay good afternoon distinguished speakers my dear colleagues and students thank you for joining us for today's webinar just a little housekeeping before we get started i dr ashim kumar manna joint convener well welcome all the participants in today's international webinar it gives me great pleasure to deliver the introductory speech at the one day international webinar organized by the department of commerce and the iqc of dinobondi indus college today at this webinar we will have a discussion on the mental health of youth in the new normal we have three renowned resource persons mm -hmm. professor j onitha menan an associate professor of health psychology in the department of psychology university of zambia dr sandeep poddar senior research director and executive editor lincoln university college malaysia and dr ponam dhor associate professor and former head department of commerce and management West Bengal State University, Barasat, Kolkata, to deliver it on this matter. This is not a drill. This is not the time to give up. This is not a time for excuses. This is a time for pulling out all the stops. Countries have been planning for scenarios like this for decades. Now is the time to act on those plans," said Trindos. adhanam director general of the who yet yes this webinar is not a mere intellectual drill this is the time to act our webinar intends to give all of us especially the young people around us a map of probable actions yes the pandemic has forced what we are now referring to as new normal a way of life defined by social distancing denial of access to spaces places and opportunities the worst affected stakeholder of this global phenomenon phenomenon are the young people they face social cultural and economic crises to name a few the secretary envoy on youth has launched the hashtag lead the time new normal campaign to address the new normal and its impact on youth our young people however traveled they might have been have initiated efforts to lend a hand of support to their community this is our chance to thank them it is a pleasure to have with us international experts to discuss the disruptive impact of the new normal on our youth and the possibilities of resilience Uh, before starting the webinar it is my humble request to all participants to follow certain decorum during the session everyone should mute the audio and turn off video throughout the session 
use only one device to join the webinar. Participants may write their questions specifying the name of speakers in the chat box only. While all questions are important to us, it may not be possible to address all the questions for the paucity of time. After the interactive session, a link will be provided in the chat box for filling the feedback form. Auto-generated certificates will reach the participants in due course, subject to the submission of filled-in feedback form. Now, may I now invite our respected head of the institution, our principal sir, Dr. Somnath Mukhopadhyay, to deliver the inaugural address. Sir, now over to our principal sir. I think sir cannot hear. Please check. <laughs> I too. Sir, you can. I need headphone, I think. I think principal sir should use uh, earphone. Yes, the connection is okay showing here. Ah, headphone need. Headphone sir plugged for that cannot listen. <laughs> now can sir hear. Yes sir. Sir, no, sir, cannot hear you. Sir, you unmute yourself. It's not muted. Uh, audio is okay. Muted. It's, it's not, not muted, not sir. Muted. Not muted. Uh, audio is okay. There is a problem in uh, audio jack. Now mute it. Ah, now can mute. Sir, can hear us. I think Dr. Manna, you should request uh, principal set to join with the mobile, with the earphone. I think there is a problem in the desktop or laptop. Okay, I call sir, better. Wait. Yes. Sir. Phone take sir. Sir, tell phone take to join. Koru na, tell me. I mean, call Phone take it. Look to. Sir, can you tell me the line to cut? Sir, I'm going to cut the phone. 
অসীম ফারে জ্যাকটাকে ঠিক মতো লাগানো আছে কি জিজ্ঞেস করো না স্যার কে বলুন ফোনটা রাখতে স্যার আমাকে ফোনে ধরুন আমি কল বলছি Sir, now you can. Ah, by phone you tell. We, we can hear, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody can hear. Sir. Everybody can hear. Okay. Sir, everybody can hear, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. I am very sorry for technical disturbance. Hello, everyone. First of all, I welcome you all to this international webinar. on mental health of youth in new normal the speakers namely dr sandeep poddar professor anita menon and dr punam dhar all are professors of international repute i express my most sincere gratitude to all these professors and scientists for participating in this webinar i hope that all of you are currently struggling for a new and better tomorrow every day during this period of pandemic due to covid-19 we know that human civilization has faced crises of different types during the course of its recorded history the crises have been due to several reasons the crises due to conflict of interest between groups of individuals leading to local fights or on a larger scale war and even world war we have witnessed two world wars world war 1 and world war 2 however people around the world fought unitedly to restore normalcy and reinitiate social and economic developments through the throughout the globe immediately after the wars the crisis due to natural disasters such as flood drought and famine volcanic eruption leading to widespread destruction storms and cyclones earthquakes and tsunamis are a few examples every time humans irrespective of political and national boundaries stood direct and fought unitedly against such fury of nature and started to work in the field of the rebuilding of uh, things for so that development can proceed crises due to man made disasters such as great smog of london in 1952 minamata disease or mercury poisoning in europe in 1957 Ubal tragedy in India in 1984, Chernobyl disaster in Russia in 1986, Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010 are some of the examples. Here again, we uh, fought our battle unitedly and restored normalcy. We also witnessed a uh, crisis due to several infectious diseases that took heavy toll of the human population in the recorded history of mankind. let me cite some examples crisis due to plague of athens that goes back to the 430 bc long before the jesus christ to his birth antony plague during 165 to 180 ad black death during 1331 and 1353 uh, claimed some 75 to 200 million lives Third plague pandemic in 1855 claimed about 10 million lives in China alone. In 1918, flu pandemic infected half a billion population, a world population, and killed about 100 million people. The cholera pandemic, the most important in the context of our country, 
that occurred first in 1817 to 1825 in Bengal, China, and Indonesia. Then in succession during 1826 to 1837 in Hungary, Germany, London, France, and Canada. During 1846 to 1866 in England, Spain, and Mexico. Then during 1863 to 1875 in Europe, Russia, and Africa. During 1881 to 1896 in North America. During 1899 to 1923, Europe and Philippines. All these together kill several million people. Into the pandemic, pandemic is another example which occurred during 1889 to 1890. One quarter of the world's current population had been infected by microbacterium tuberculosis, that is TB, during the 20th century. Tuberculosis alone killed some 100 million people throughout the globe. Historically, measles and uh, other things like that are prevalent among the world in the 18th century. The disease killed around 200 million people in the last 150 years. Malaria is another disease that is very important still today. Malaria means bad air. Bad air is still a bad news. Every year, there are approximately 350 to 500 million people of infection, uh, cases of infection in the southern parts of America, Asia, and Africa. However, smallpox is the only human infectious disease which has been completely eradicated. We the humans have fought the battle against these diseases in the past, and we are fighting the battle at present as well. A number of vaccines have been developed, and a host of infectious in medicines and uh, medical measures have been discovered for saving human lives. I strongly believe that the battle will continue forever, however. Now, during the last six to seven months, all of us are struggling against the tiny virus, the novel coronavirus. As on date, there have been 63,94,749 active cases, while 7,34,181 7, people already died. As such, we are experiencing an unprecedented situation, primarily being becoming home arrested. Schools, colleges, and other academic institutions are closed. Many small scale and heavy industries have been suffering a major decline in their business. Many of our co citizens have lost their jobs, children, and the entire teenage group have been forced to remain in those. All these and many other restrictions of our present day lifestyle have put an immense pressure on our livelihood. People of all corners of life are trying to help each other to tide over the situation. Currently, we are left alone, left with only two infection uh, options. Number one option is, as a rule of population biology, the coronavirus is likely to suffer a crash, leading to a sharp decline in the rate of infection. And number two, the discovery of an effective vaccine for significantly restricting the disease. I strongly believe that the scientists will soon be successful in finding out an answer against COVID-19. I appeal to all my co-citizens to fight the battle unitedly. I hope this international webinar will find answers to many questions of the contemporary pandemic. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you, sir, for uh, extending such a warm welcome to our colleagues, students, online audience, and our distinguished panel of experts. On behalf of our department, I would like to express our thanks for your constant support and encouragement. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, it is a privilege to welcome our first speaker, Professor J. Anitha Menon, a stalwart in her own field. It's an honor to have her with us today. Now, I request Sheikh Abir Hoshen, faculty of our department, to give a brief introduction on her. Now, Sheikh Abir Hoshen. Thank you, Professor Manna. It is my immense pleasure and honor to introduce Professor Anita Menon in the webinar. Professor Anita Menon in a, in, is an associate professor of health psychology in the Department of Psychology, University of Zambia, 
and the chairperson for University of Zambia Committee on HIV and AIDS. She is also founding president of Psychology Association of Zambia. Professor Menon spearheaded the formulation of University of Zambia on HIV and AIDS policy and as the chairperson of University of Zambia HIV AIDS response is responsible for coordinating all HIV related service program and research at the university through the HIV AIDS response program. She has also been involved in various national and international research projects and has been the team leader for several, including BFID, funded development for higher education partnership, and NORAD funded NORAD master program, NOMA. She is the member of the editorial team for Journal of African Social Research, Journal of Psychology in Africa, and Zambian paper. She also serves as reviewer for various national and international scientific journals and has more than 100 publications on various peer reviewed national and international journals. She is also a member of the Human Resource Committee of the Council of University of Zambia. She was the recipient of the award for the best professor in psychology for World Education Congress 2012 and changed the fellowship from the International Congress of Psychology 2012. In February 2014, he received the Women Leadership Achievement Award for Women's Leadership Congress from the Women's Leadership Congress, the Day, Labor Day Award from University of Zambia for Innovation and Excellence in May 2014. Most influential woman in business and government CEO, Global Award Education and Training, countrywide country winner as well as Regional Wheeler Award both in October 2017, the UK Alumni Award for Professional Achievement in May 2018, and African Women Leaders on December 2019. Thank you, Professor Manna. We hand over the microphone. Uh, okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, <laughs> Madam. Madam, just uh, a minute. Uh, Madam, uh, we thank you for accepting our invitation and we look forward to listening to you. Professor Menan will speak on the new normal and young people's mental health. I am sure the audience will share our pleasure in listening to you. Now I request Dr. Menan to initiate the discussion. Professor Menan, the stage is now yours. Menan. Uh, good afternoon. Can you hear me well? Yes, yes. Uh, all right. Thank yes, you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, greetings from Zambia. And thank you very much for this opportunity to talk today uh, in a, uh, on a subject that is very, uh, very much of my interest. I, I would apologize to the audience who have listened to the same talk about two weeks back, uh, if you were there, I gave the same presentation at another forum. So uh, if you were there, apologies for that. So the topic that I'm going to be talking today is uh, the new normal and the young people's mental health. And by young people in this presentation, I'm referring to those in the age range of 12 years to 24 years according to the WHO definition, and stretching up to 29 years, those are the emerging young adults, which is a new terminology that uh, we have been using. So in this presentation, upon some of my experiences from my professional life, as well as from my personal life, and my request to the audience would be please think outside the box. Please engage with the presentation, and as you do so, try to relate it to your everyday life. This is especially to the young people who are joining in for the presentation today. Before I go on to talking about 
the new normal and young people's mental health, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about where I'm from. So I'm from Zambia, and uh, this is a country, a small country in sub-Saharan Africa. And I work at the University of Zambia, and uh, this is our very beautiful campus. Uh, and Zambia is a very well-known tourist destination around the world. Uh, we are famous for the Victoria Falls, as well as the uh, safari and uh, game drives that Zambia offers. So if you do ever get a chance, do visit us. You will really enjoy it. So going on to the topic for today, the new normal. So this is almost a catchword for us in our everyday life. Wherever we look at any magazine that we are looking at, any TV programs, any billboards, we come across this term, new normal. And when you think of the new normal, you will find that it is something that you have to adjust to. And please play, pay particular attention to you have to adjust to. What does that mean? It means that you do not have a choice. It means that this is a prescription given to you and you better do it. And therefore, we often hear you have to adjust to the new normal. This is a new way of living, a new way of going about with our lives, our work, and interaction with other people, with our friends, with our families, with our colleagues. And uh, just like uh, the you know, in the inaugural address, it was mentioned, we may have to live with this new normal for a very long period of time until a vaccine is discovered or there is herd immunity established. And even then, you never know the virus may still mutate. So it looks like we have to live with it for a very long period of time. There are many other viruses that we live with in our everyday life. We have the common flu, which is a virus. And then there has been the HIV, which has brought about a lot of lifestyle changes in our life, in our everyday life. But here, we are dealing with a virus which is more contagious and more infectious. So this virus in India, on an average, I'm told, has a reproductive rate of about 1.5. So what does that mean? It means that every person who is tested positive for COVID-19 can infect 1.5 people or two people can infect three other persons. So that is the reproductive rate of this virus. We have had other viruses which have had more reproductive rate like uh, mums, which had a reproductive rate of five to seven. And the vaccine was found, it was found to be effective, and now we have got used to that. So we will reach that stage. But meanwhile, we do have to adapt to this virus, and we have to change our lives in very great ways as we do so. And these adaptations that we are making, these changes that we are making is what is called the new normal, the so-called prescription of our life today. What does the world look like in this new normal? We find that whenever we go out, we are required to wear a face mask. This is 
mandatory in certain countries. I think would in most of the countries, it would now be mandatory. So you don't have a choice. You do have to do it, though do we still find people going out without masks, of course. We do have to maintain some social distancing. We have to keep a, at least one to two meters from another person when we are outside. There is also a change in our lifestyle. If you are a student, rather than learning in a real classroom, you may be learning in a virtual classroom. You may be interacting with your lecturers, with your friends in a virtual classroom. And this is again a change that is brought about in the new normal because we are trying to implement the online system of learning. And we also find some very ridiculous kind of new normal where people uh, take it to their hands and do things as they like, like not wearing a mask properly. So this to me is not a new normal, this is completely abnormal. So the new normal, we are facing a reality from what we have ever known. There is a drastic change in our life that is being brought about by this COVID-19. When the UN chief, Guterres, was asked about what he thought about the new normal, he said he will refuse to use the term new normal. Instead, he called it abnormal. And what is the reason that he called it abnormal? This is because he said, to me, human life needs human contact. And this is very pertinent, especially to the young people for whom the human contact is important to be in touch with their friends, to interact with their friends. All these are very important aspects in the life of a young person. So when you look at the mental health of young people, even in a situation where there is no COVID, young people are at a risk of mental health problems when compared to the other age groups. This is a developmental period where mental health problems increase. And this is also a period where the young people develop new health rate related behavior such as smoking, drinking alcohol, sexual behavior and so on. The behavior of young people is characterized to be impulsive. They may not think before acting. And another very important aspect of the young people's behavior, especially related to COVID-19 and other infectious diseases is that young people are likely to assume immunity to external factors. They assume that other, it can affect other people, but it will not affect them. I am immune. I am immune to COVID-19. There is no need for me to change the behavior. Peer group friends are very important aspects in the life of a young person. And they, they would want to relate to their friends, to see their friends, to interact with their friends, and so on. And the new normal places a restrictions to all these. And in many countries, we know that uh, mental health care is not prioritized. And another issue that we face with is that young people may not disclose their problems. 
in a study that was carried out in China recently, during the COVID-19 and the period immediately uh, after the initial uh, reduction in the prevalence, it was found that more than 40% of the young people were prone to psychological problems. Psychological problems such as panic, anxiety, and so on. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience in my personal life as well as my professional life. I am at the University of Zambia in the psychology department where I teach. The University of Zambia was closed because of COVID for a period of time and we were doing everything online, but recently we have opened the campus for the graduating year students as well as for the master's students. So this is what our campus looks like you find that the young people are not wearing masks as they should. They are not maintaining social distancing. This is a very common scene, maybe a bit exaggerated in the picture, but this is what we usually find. And what does this suggest? This suggests that the new normal is the same as the old normal for these young people. And some of the reasons for this could be like I mentioned earlier, that young people may think that they are immune to the external factors. COVID will not affect them. And also relationships are very important for them to be interacting with friends and they do not want any restrictions placed on that. In my practice as a psychologist, I do come across young people and uh, some of the issues that I find are that they experience loneliness. Loneliness from being isolated from their family, from their friends or colleagues as they are learning from home or they are working from home. And this could also lead to challenges in relationships that they have with their friends or families or friends. And in order to cope with these challenges and to cope with the new normal, many of them engage in risk-taking behavior such as substance use, increased consumption of alcohol, and so on. And uh, at home, as a parent, I do have uh, two boys in this age bracket, one who is 21 and one who is 25. And some of the things that I usually hear from them are, I have to go out to see my girlfriend. I must get some exercise, so I have to go out and play football. I'm going out to chill. So this is typically the young people that we see today that they have a lifestyle and they do not like any restrictions placed on this lifestyle. They would like to continue as usual. Now, when you look at unpacking this new normal, and here, if you try to think outside the box, outside the box of new normal as a prescription and try to understand it a little more. It's as if the term new normal is being put forward to suppress some uncertainty that comes with it. Uncertainty that comes with this environment of COVID-19. And why is it so? This is because any 
unknown, any change, any uncertainty causes fear, worry, and stress. So by using the term new normal, are we trying to hide behind our fear, our worries, and our stress? Even if we are worried, even if we experience stress, we are being expected to get used to it, to accept it, that this is reality, this is your normal, get on with your life. So if you look at that picture there, this is what is happening in some parts of the world. We find that this is very far from the normal that we are used to. Even as an adult, we may fail to see this as a normal. And what about the young people for whom the relationships to be with friends, to interact with them is very important. So what happens is that we are left to appropriating our present as the standard, our present as the new normal that we have to live with. And uh, how does that affect the mental health of young people? Fear, worry, and stress, they are normal response to uncertainty as we have seen. There is a significant change in our life, significant changes in what we can do and cannot do and restrictions that are being placed. Some of these become the new realities of either studying from home or working from home. Young people may also face other challenges such as temporary unemployment, lack of physical contact with family, friends, and colleagues. For a while, you might think that this is fun to be working from home or to be studying from home because it gives you a lot of flexibility. But after a while, it becomes a stress. So as we are trying to cope with these rapid changes, we are being asked to normalize the situation, to move quickly, to change quickly, and we are not having the time to process it and to internalize these changes as we make the adaptations. It's important in this situation that young people would identify their fears and worries and honor them through communicating to people, to expressing themselves to their friends, to their families, to their colleagues, and if necessary, to any mental health professionals. Some of these changes that are being made are very simple and doesn't require too much of adaptation, while some other changes are pretty drastic. So I would say to the young people that it is okay to experience stress in this time. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to experience fear. What is important is that you acknowledge what you're experiencing, you're feeling, and talk about it to those who you're comfortable with. And if necessary, seek professional help. In fact, it is not okay to be comfortable with what is going on. This is a rapid change. There is no need for you to normalize it and say everything is okay, but to acknowledge that there are changes and adaptations need to be made. In conclusion, I'd also like to bring in another point that in the new normal where many things are happening online, including classes happening online, like today we are having this webinar 
on which is being held online so many things are happening online so we are dependent on this virtual en engagement so the new normal assumes or it valorizes the promise of the virtual engagement while ignoring that almost half of the world remains offline many people cannot be online they cannot use a social media and still they have to adopt to all these changes just as we look after our physical health during this time and at all times it's also important that we look after our mental health and my message to the young people is that as you adopt to this new normal acknowledge what you are experiencing acknowledge your fears the changes that you have to make take control over the situation and move on and i say take control over the situation i'm referring to the fact that you should not be doing certain things because other people are telling you to do it you need to internalize the situation to understand why it is important to change the behavior what benefits does it have for you what benefits does it have for those who you love you might uh, see that i am actually sitting outdoors uh, uh, that's because today is a very uh, pleasant day we are at the end of winter here and the sun is out so i thought let me sit outside so this is some of the uh, pleasantries during this new normal that we have a very flexible way of doing things enjoy that there are of course the other side to it when i am giving a talk i do like to see my participants i do like to interact with them but this is not happening so that is the downside of it but i am enjoying the the weather the environment and side of it so think about the good sides of the situation that you have and move on thank you very much for your attention and uh, that is my new normal and uh, if you would like to get in touch with me that is my email uh, you are welcome to get in touch with me give me any comments uh, if you have any questions and so on and thank you very much and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your webinar thank you thank you professor menon for that compelling lecture this is indeed a rare occasion when we get to hear from a best minds in the field thank you thank you madam it is a pleasure to introduce our next speaker Dr. Sundeep Podda. Now I request Mr. Orpon Tamang, Assistant Professor of our department, to give a brief introduction about Dr. Podda. Orpon. Yes. So I'm now audible. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. So thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome all our speakers and participants on this one-day international webinar. Our next speaker is Dr. Sandeep Poder. Dr. Sandeep Poder is a senior research director and executive editor of Lincoln University College, Malaysia. Graduated from University of Calcutta in 1993 with honors in zoology and has also obtained postgraduate diploma in dietetics from All India Institute of Hygiene and Public Health in 1990. Master of Science in Zoology with specialization in biochemical genetics from Dalbagh Educational Institute in 1998 with distinction. He has completed his PhD in Zoology from Vivekananda Institute of Medical Sciences on cytotoxicity in 2004. After completing PhD, he pursued postdoctoral research in different projects on hemoglobinopathies and oral cancer mutation. 
He has published several research papers, filed patent and organized international conferences, and has also edited books in Malaysia and India. He has initiated the International Journal of Advancement in Life Sciences Research. Dr. Sandeep is founder assistant secretary of Dr. Taratna Uddar Memorial Foundation, Kolkata, India. Thank you, sir. Over to you, sir, Asim, sir. Okay, we are grateful to you for obliging us. I am sure the audience is as eager to listen to you as we are. The title of Professor Puddha's paper is Depression Challenges to Overcome. I now request Dr. Puddar to deliver his lecture. Professor Puddar, now stage is yours. Uh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you for inviting me. And I first thank you, Professor Anita from, from Par, Zambia. She has joined. Just. <clears throat> And also, I thankful to uh, Dr. Somna sir for inviting me, and also you sir, to, and Dr. Pranam sir to organize this event, as it is a very relevant topic this time of COVID situation. So, without wasting much time, I would like to share my slides. Okay. You can see my screen. Yes, yes, it is, it, yes, it is, it, yes. Oh, it is okay. Thank you. Sorry for the delay. Uh, there is some miss. <laughs> so, actually, today we are associated with this one-day international webinar on mental health of youth in the new normal, as and organized by the Department of Commerce, and IQC cell of the Nodu Andrews College, Korea, Kolkata, India. It's long time. I'm associated with. Uh, I have seen this college also, and so it is my very great pleasure to deliver talk in Kolkata itself. So today we are talking with different aspects of mental health of youth, and Professor Anita Madam also told the different health issues or mental health issues in children means the youth. I am talking about the depression. Challenges to overcome. Now, first, I would like to say, as Sonasa told just now, that the total global case is infected case is 1969080. It is on 10th, means two days data. After I taken it after midnight of Malaysian time. So now maybe it is changed already because they are updating this site every time. So total global day is 727897. And if you see India, the total infection is 2153010. And total India in the date, official date is 43379. Now, if we make a chart that what is the scenario? World if the global death and infection, if we make a percentage, it is 3.69%. I have seen last, before one month when I do this calculation, I seen the percentage was above 4. Now it is reduced to 3.69. India also 2.01 is the death rate, but this is official. 
unofficial we don't know how much usa 3.24 is the death rate but malaysia the death rate is 1.38 new infection sometimes it is below 10 and zero and total death is constant from long one month 124 now it is 125 and there is uh, very means no patient in icu as per record and all is opening very soon means all already open uh, that is called malaysia movement control order and it is relaxed colleges schools are opening also and our, our my daughter also going to school every alternate day they are doing because they have make 50 50 the student intake means one day 50 one day online 50 percent next day again 50 percent online next day coming like that they are doing some school doing seven days half student coming seven days next half student coming and half who are not coming they are online so like this they have some strict measures they are maintaining and the death rate and infection rate they have controlled in like that way in india still we have not entered in new normal era maybe so when we're talking about this corona and this infection we know that they are protective measures we have to take well, who are the health workers mainly like pp kit gloves etc mask everything they have to protect it but inside their past means they are sweating and that we cannot see. We see that they are very look nice and very uh, good working. But if we wear like this type of PPE and we are sweating inside, then we understand what is going on. So they are working in different aspects. Not only health worker means the doctors and nurses. They are police also. The sample collectors from driveway or the history collectors at the airport and other. Uh, means entry points, checkpoints everywhere, they are also called health workers. The cleaners also called health workers. The postmen, the food suppliers, also we can come as health workers. As all of us, maybe we can tell someone how is related to health works. So when you're talking about the health works, there are two types of health, physical and mental. Physical health we can see, but mental health we cannot see. We have to feel now this lockdown affected adversely on the economy you know very well that we have to not to discuss may this is i think means that department of commerce is organizing this seminar so i think many persons of commerce background so they know very well all of you know very well that what is the economy going down and what we know that common students who are joining here we also know that many students getting jobless not this one very old figure may and may month figure now it is june july august and within that period many persons jobless many persons many company have been what you call closed down because they cannot run the service many persons who is doing cloth business they cannot do because the cloth market is not there killer market is not there they many persons doing different types of business also started like masks, etc., they have started. So I will talk about that later on also. That uh, this one causing some what you call joblessness in the everywhere because you cannot go to the job and transport is not there. So how the job and the payment is not there? If the job is there, payment is half like that. So it is a very tough condition for all of us. We can see the Malaysian airport before lockdown and after lockdown. Now also still border is not opened. Only the special flights is running. So the condition of airport is not previously like that. Not like that. Still it is empty. And you can understand many persons are working there. And many flights is going. Not only that flight is only going means only pilot is running the flight. There are many aerospace, supportive staffs, cleaners, ground staffs. The ticket operators, travel agents, the hotels associated, many persons working and they are jobless. So this is condition, very tough condition, I'm telling you. And you can see the health workers, they are feeling tired when it is just a feature from Indonesia, but it is everywhere. And we know that health workers getting affected. So when they get affected in Delhi, we have the news 
the belly, the head, not get affected with one child. And she has, means she has been diagnosed. To, they are all tested and diagnosed positive. So the hospital authority called her and told, "Yes, you have to go for isolation, not stay with the family." So what? She has one one year old kid, and she has go down and waiting for the ambulance to come from the same hospital in the evening 4 p.m. So she called, called, and overnight she have to wait. And after next day, 6 p.m., the ambulance come to take her to hospital. So it is not easy to get an ambulance also for the health worker. And so how you can understand? Normal people can get ambulance. There is a total. Means if they are also human being, the ambulance driver, they are also human being, and it is very difficult to get the ambulance and also get the bed in the hospital to get the facility of service for COVID infection. This is a very tough situation. We must un understand that thing. What if we don't understand? We are increasing the case every day. And as we know that within during nine uh, very long term time, the GDP is not so low as now. And economic persons, it is made at a again. You know very well the graph will move down, steep downward still. And this is the condition, the lockdown. And lockdown is not so easy for any country to continue for a longer time. And that is. Creating more joblessness conditions, and this recession in industry causing the depression. Depression in our mind. We don't know what is depression, but I will discuss later on that we are depressed due to the recession. We are talking about depression, but are we know what is depression? Depression is a weather condition when there is a hot air go up. And there is a, a vacant air vacancy on the air region road, and the cold air come on the side, and there is a contact of hot air and cold air. The then there is a rain. That rain persists for longer time. Now in India, in Kolkata, you are facing the rain. Mumbai under the water because for this depression, weather depression. But this weather depression. Will go away after some day. Same thing when we are talking about the depression in human health. That is mind depression. We are talking about. That is not the weather depression. Same thing in mind depression. Depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness. I am feeling sad and loss of interest and can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problem. That we will discuss. Symptoms of depression are feeling of sadness, emptiness, angry outburst, sleep disturbance, changes in appetite, anxiety, trouble in thinking, making decisions, etc. So, in WHO, their term is black dog syndrome. You can watch the video of black dog. A dog never leaves us. Dog is always stays with us, and but it is controlled by us. But when the black dog is the more the shadow covers us, we cannot get out from that shadow, and we more more and more under under that shadow. So key facts of depression as per 30th January 2020, 2020 in WHO, depression is a common mental disorder. Globally, more than 264 million people of all ages suffer from depression. January 2020 data. Now, the figure you can understand how it is increased. Depression is leading cause of disability worldwide, and is a major contributor to the overall global burden of disease. How? Because this depression causes anxiety. It causes the insomnia. it causes blood sugar and diabetes then heart attack also these all are associated cardiovascular disease gout uric acid level up all is associated with depression many diseases in spite of the normal sadness and mental disorder what you tell me more women are affected by depression than the men because 
women have to have more burden have to take family care and if they are working more job pressure also on them depression can lead to suicide last week one of our staff member taking class beside my room because now we are, our university is open we are going to university every day and online class is ongoing so she is taking class beside my room i have seen her and heard that her son committed suicide why her son was air asia pilot she he was in means her, his income was 30000 ringgit per month means it is around 5 lakh indian currency per month and he become jobless due to this covid pandemic we few month back the company air asia told you are not required now we will think later on so suddenly 30000 ringgit means 5 lakh per month become zero per month so he cannot cope up with that situation he has to depend on other persons to repay his loans etc he has taken loan for flat he has taken loan for car anything so he is completely depressed because he has to depend on others so he cannot cope that situation he jumped from the roof and committed suicide he never think about his family also his old mother his wife his family uh, his children because he is depressed he is not controlled by himself now there is all effective psychological and pharmacological treatments for moderate and severe depression but if we know that we are depressed now the many news are there that covid shut down wait for see specialist may have lead to school boy suicide this lockdown five days ago six hours ago this last year, yesterday i have taken this six days ago means in april 26 then six days ago ludhiana so suicide lockdown blues driving kids to suicide so there are many news if you open the news channel many news you can see the actor great actor also committed suicide for depression or something we don't know the cause yet they are searching the cause but when we are and means depressed we are weak then anxiety due to overwork and overburden also there means we are now uh, locked down conditions so some persons have to do overwork the nurses health workers and they are depressed due to this overwork they cannot go to home they cannot take care of their own family they become more depressed than us next no doctor can provide bread to our home so when we are hung we are hungry then we are already our mind is not in our control then there is stigma this is the main another cause that when i am sick i don't want to believe that i am sick i am associated with mental illness and there is a barrier this stigma is the barrier of significant barrier for seeking treatment so some students might not seek help because you as i am student you are students many of you so and many of you are all of you are guiding the students so i am taking this advantage to tell you that some students might not seek help because they are concerned for over conf confidentiality they want to don't want to disclose about the finance also of their family members that i have my father lost job and like that so if you are loved ones struggling with depression there are many resources and supports available what is the best places student can talk with their professors and mentors or counseling centers in our in malaysia we have the counseling center in every school every colleges but they counsel only who are getting low marks etc if they don't come to the center they are going and checking what is the condition and if the what is, why the student get low marks etc then only they counsel them otherwise they don't counsel so the student also have to come forward like in church we have the father so when we do some uh, what you call commit some sin the persons in the christian community they go to church and tell the father in the what you call beside a curtain we don't know who is the father inside and 
confess the sin and get rid of the sin they in universities some universities in nature it is published that some universities have crying zone the phd students cry there in the room and there is crying room that they go and cry that they cannot succeed the result they want like that so there are different types of in hinduism also we have gurujis etc where you go and tell that sir i means i cannot get this thing so guruji will give some information or tips so that we are happy and we get some out of some depression <clears throat> so there are useful of the what you call the counselors and our brain and our immune systems are deeply linked with each other as we told that when we are depressed then our immune system get depressed so we are more prone to be affected with covid sometimes back we have seen few months back that we are going for candle light and we are doing playing music etc these are all for only coming out from the depression not that it will chase away the corona virus it will only keep up boost up our mind power that we can go out from the depression maybe somebody terms at political or non political that is not our issue our issue is we have to think why it is there we this is for a better cause this is for motivational cause not for that it is going as a medication for chase away the virus it is only for the chasing away the depression things somebody writing anything on the screen please don't write and stress is normal in our life everywhere we are getting stress like now somebody writing on the screen maybe i am stressed that why somebody is writing so somebody may become angry yes but he also maybe don't know he may be writing means uh, un unwantedly he don't know how to use zoom so <laughs> on the screen it is writing uh, means Uh, unknowingly so we have to understand that things so if we cannot understand that you can see in the bus that somebody is shouting why is bus running slow not everybody is shouting some person is only shouting because she has he or she has some personal anxiety and depression in the mind corner all of us have some have more some has less so she is shouting so that is the cause or uh, means the you can understand he is depressed so he need support from us so this is have as i told it has some effect on immunity and vascular system as well and only physical exercise exercise component to improve the physical and mental health condition and relaxation also need as i told we have to as next speaker the professor pranam dr pranam dhar is there he will speak on music relaxation and i think he will vividly explain that what is meaning by this mindfulness and relaxation techniques effects on the depression situation and investing on mental health pays long past lasting dividends and studies have shown that future mental and physical health are related to previous investment in mental and physical health so we have to control our mind that if we don't control our mind mind is very prickled now many of you are sitting in this meeting room in physical classroom also somebody looking at the screen thinking about different thing somebody thinking i have to cook after 5 minute i have to go for tea i have to go for children i have to my school children have to bring back like that many persons thinking many things so our mind is can travel to star already but we are physically present in this chat room so there is a book man's search for meaning by dr victor frankl dr victor frankl was the prisoner in the world war 2 and he was the one of few survivors there in the prison and one of them is victor frankl and he write this book and it is logotherapy logos means reasons reasons for living so what is the motivational theory as in management told that motivation mass law told without motivational theory we cannot leave the theory for living so there is a some reasons we have to find without that reason we don't leave as i have written the told we 
work until the goal is reached. So the goal is different. We can think. We can think about different types of goal about ourselves, and we learn after the goal. Now, WHO gives some tips to release this depression situation long back to keep up the mental health condition. Keep informed. Listen all the listens the news that yes, these conditions are there. This country is affected like this. Take the news. Have a routine in your daily schedule, and like the take timely bed or go get up, take food nicely, exercise regularly. It's very important to do exercise and also and keep communicating with each other, not physically but also by. Uh, like this Zoom meeting and phone, etc. Minimize news speed and social contact, as I told. Keep regular contact by telephone and other online channels. No to drug and alcohol and screen time you have to less. Then video games, no. As you know, that there is some games like Blue Whale games, person committed suicide also. So we should not go for that. Social media, we have to use, and if there is a correct, incorrect information, we should. Not, we should protest that. I have protested somebody, and he blocked me already. So that is the thing. But like that, I have told that it is not that it is political or something. It is for motivational, and it will improve our health if we are cheerful every time. Somebody yesterday writing on one of my friend, school friend posted that my daughter happy birthday. So somebody writing that everywhere is dead. Everywhere is part of your people is panic. And you are celebrating birthday peak in the, in the Facebook. What is this? This is not the way. But immediately I um, protest that yes, uh, but he is telling that I have my so many uh, what you call things to share, but I am not sharing. I tell yes, you must share. Sharing is the caring. If somebody is happy and we are make, this celebration will happy make brings happiness to everybody's life in these miserable conditions also. We keep our mind away from that conditions that yes, persons is dying, persons is living to. That thing is the thing we are keeping in our mind. So help others. That lockdown conditions, many persons are helpless. Many persons become jobless. Many persons cannot go out from the house to bring medicines. Cannot go out to cook food to market to bring the vegetables. So help them. By your capacity, not that you have to go for help and go for any other things you have to do unnecessary. But when you are going market, go and bring something for him also. That's the way. Not that you have to go and clean what you call it, not your work that you are going to do. So and also support the health workers. As you know, I told you that you can understand the health workers' condition. And many things you can see in this link in the WHO. I don't have to tell. So there are many technology also to self care and wellness. This is images from other authors, and I have given the reference here. That self care wellness apps are there, wearable, trackable, and uh, what you call websites are there. Then decline the diagnosis and advice websites are there. Symptoms checkers, mood scorers, etc. Online supports like. We have now the COVID online support at West Bengal and other places also. Treatment plan place and management and monitoring of self care. Okay. Sir, how much time I have? Five minutes, okay, or five, ten minutes? Yes, yes, yes. You can continue. No problem. Okay, sir. Okay. So just I. So when we're talking this model of comfort zone. That last this, before this COVID infection in last year during puja celebration we are in comfort zone we all be together hug together we are celebrating together but when COVID come in then we are in fear zone now that we are still thinking that new normal era come or not that we can celebrate Durga puja or not we can hug everybody or not we are still in fear that if I go and hug everybody I will be attacked by COVID. Then we are learning zone. That learning zone is the lockdown period. Here we have to learn how we are getting rid of this infection. 
if we cannot learn we are still in the comfort zone we think that we go out and taking fuchka yes one of my student told sir i go to ashutosh college he is lecturer now and she is telling that i go to ashutosh college for depositing the answer sheet of calcutta university and i see the fuchka is still open players are playing football in the ground sir this is the condition in kolkata yes so means they are still in the comfort zone they don't learn anything they don't have passed the fear zone at all they don't have the fear of corona they don't have learned anything from the corona infection they are still playing football without anything maintaining so they are still in the comfort zone red zone and they are the cause of causing the disease and when like malaysia they already learned how to tackle new zealand how they learn uae they learn how to tackle and this condition they have learned and then they are moving to the growth zone they already open lockdown they are moving job they are getting open everything school college everything so this is the condition comfort zone to fear zone to learning zone and then we can achieve the growth zone if anybody is in the red zone means they are died here comes the kubler ross script model so it is a very important model that first we deny that yes corona is in colder region china it will not affect the hot region then when it affect us we get frustrated and we get angry this person do this this person bring this but we are depressed and then bargaining ourselves there is yes struggling to find meaning that we can how we can survive that we know already that dengue don't have the fida vaccine before uh, so long years now still we it is also rna virus so it will not develop vaccine also we understand except yes corona will stay and we have to stay also so how we can stay that is we have to learn that is the growth zone so these are the stages as i told so here we are when we are no longer able to change the situation we are challenged to change ourselves as dr victor frankel told that yes the corona will stay so what we will do we have to change ourselves we cannot go and take fuchka we cannot go and play football again same way like in malaysia they open the mco lifted the mco but still they have not allowed to play football they are strictly written that tennis can be played football cannot be played swimming pool open for two persons only for one hour by scheduling after that you have to cannot go out again 10 persons only per day in the swimming pool many times one single by single if you i go for haircut in the saloon last two months is closed down they don't open the saloon also so when they open the take two ringgit extra two ringgit means 30 rupees that is not a issue 10 ringgit is the means hair cut normal here so when i go they take 12 ringgit why they give me a special puppy piece key means the sheet and he also wear a puppy sheet and after they the hair cut finish they throw it so every customer they are treating with special care they have adapted this in the saloon also small saloon it is not a big saloon so they are also maintaining this but i don't think that calcutta saloon are closed till now so in shopping mall they are the marks are there we have to wear marks and they are checking the temperature then only they are going back just one minute uh, the host please check the annotation to off Yes, yes. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. I do. I I think. Okay. Doctor Manna, you can give me the host. I'll control. This one. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. This one. Somebody write already. Need to erase.
okay sir you please carry on i am controlling that annotation okay so i get the eraser just trying to eraser yes now done thank you sir okay so when we uh, entering any place they have the code now in university when i going scan the code the temperature recorded in the uh, what you call on my name phone number passport number everything is recorded in the ministry website so at a point of time that time if anybody is infected reported so they are checking the history where he go on that which shop he has there that time who are the persons there they are informing that persons by messaging them every day morning we are receiving message sms that wear mask keep social distancing don't go here don't go different types of message coming every day sms from the government side so these are the situation things can be done in small countries and next is depression is a hidden burden as who told what do i know that at least this part number of people with live with depression and it is not is a leading cause of disability worldwide as i told before depression often starts at the young age and affects open more mostly and almost 1 million people take their own lives each year or every person who commits suicide there are 20 or more who make an attempt also may if 20 persons attempt one person dies and that is the cause of suicide means suicide we are getting the number of suicide how much suicide so suicide is nothing but cause of outcome of the depression and symptoms of depressions are persistent sadness low energy and difficulty in functioning normally so depression is terrible then what i can do consult doctor recognize depression among your family and friends and encourage them to seek help understand the support people with depression okay understand who is depressed and support them that like i told in bus if you see the somebody is shouting support them yes the bus will move don't uh, need to shout you please keep cool or something maybe he get angry for different reasons so we have to think why he is angry according to you have to treat that then what wg told drinking methanol ethanol and bleach does not prevent or cure covid and can be extremely dangerous so this is what we don't know that covid will not be cured by drinking alcohol why wg is giving this because they, they have the news that iran 700 upar people die by drinking alcohol that they think that it will read of the cure the corona virus so this is another thing that they, we are thinking that we drink alcohol so we it will not affect me the covid will not affect me but on the contrary it will decrease the immunity power it affects our liver it affects our pancreas and it will decrease our immunity and we are more prone to get affected with covid so for this reason who told the no to alcohol and drinks then from past august malaysia this is the new face mask compulsory if we don't wear face masks 1000 ringgit fine on the spot means it is around 17000 indian currency some persons full month salary some persons half month salary and means like normal persons who are working that very high amount 1000 ringgit means so you can understand why it is from past to us previously also that so everybody should maintain this is the cause that we should maintain the distance we should keep the face marks and we in india as i told that they are making different types of mask mask with light mask with color mask with design these things that means that mask you can wash we can wash and we have to wear the same mask and can throw also because this was so if some bacteria or virus out of the mask it is every we wear mask we have to come home and throw wash it with all the clothes not only mask all clothes of the outside clothes we have to throw and wash then only
the other teachers we know that these are not same for all the students are not same in the class as we know the fingerprint of everybody is not same it is different in each and every individual so the cognitive learning behavior of every person is different so in this meeting room many of you i see around 137 participants including me so many of you is learning many of you are thinking different things many of you thinking that okay this talk is not nice maybe but different persons should think different everybody cannot think same way why because their mind setup is different as like as the finger pain so somebody may get depressed somebody not get depressed that is different issue so we have to think that this finger of every hand is different like every individual every finger like finger pain all mind setup also different every person have different mind setup okay so when with respect to this we can play cricket we can think about life is a cricket and every ball is a opportunity that i can score suppose i can think that okay exam i will get 100 90 after that i cannot achieve 90 so i commit suicide so not that like that there are many things to achieve if 90 also not so no problem we score 50 i score nothing also that is no problem i am thankful to god that i can breathe i can move i can talk every day many persons lose their sight many persons lose their talking power many persons lose their life and for that we are thankful that i can talk i am still alive so if i am still alive there is certain things for that i am alive so each if there is not six or one hundred can it hit i can stay in the crease without scoring anything to give opportunity to other person to score one run until and i am out i cannot go out myself from the ground that is the motto and that way only we can trigger our mental health and in the good positive way as you can see this picture one thing die they are dying and creating a seed and new life have been generated so this is the new life after this corona there will be new life if death also there there will be new life if after one era finishing another era coming before 100 year there is plague there is malaria we have uh, what you call clear their stages we are coming to different stage now we facing corona maybe next year we face other thing we facing amphu we facing mumbai facing the flood so many things we are facing we don't know what we are facing going to face in the next 24 hour or next year or next after five year so there is always some hope of new life and that is the new normal life so we must know that we are here for struggling for the existence and charles darwin told our somnath sir is from geology and i am also from geology background so this is my thing all of us know in class 9 book all of us read charles darwin theory the struggle for existence survival of the fittest and who will select this nature will select who will stay or not i cannot select so i don't lost my life i have to fight and i can fight if i fight then i will survive if i don't fight i will lost like i can give you an example we all know that a reptile going for hibernate in the winter and he take food and then go for hibernate in the hole why because he know that in the winter season winter season he cannot get food he cannot go out same way when lockdown is there we have to hibernate if we go out we will die we will search food search food search food we are affected by covid same way if the reptile can survive we also can survive if we think and we can struggle that yes i cannot get mutton i can survive with dal and rice i cannot go out when lockdown is here we don't go out from house for 15 days 
after 15 days we go one time and bring now still in the shopping malls don't Mali allow taka gulo sob goche rakta e gulo sob bundle kore rakha jay mon okay so nature will select who we leave so with this i must thankful to dinamondi andros college and i am thankful to the organizers for giving me the opportunity to share my views thank you if i excess my time sorry for the apology i must take no sir no sir <laughs> thank you thank you dr pudda for enlightening us with your extremely well research ideas on a very very relevant topic we extend our gratitude to you for having shared your thoughts with us thank you sir now uh, we take pleasure in introducing our next and last speaker of the session dr pranam dhor an eminent scholar we thank you for helping us to organize this webinar on a relevant topic during this current scenario now i request mrs sathi raut faculty of our department to give a brief introduction about dr dhor now over to mr mrs sathi rao unmute unmute yourself thank you dr manna a very good evening to all hope i am audible now am i audible yes sir and now Uh, for the smooth functioning of the session i am going to turn off my video moving on i feel extremely honored to introduce you to our next speaker dr pranam dhar dr pranam dhar is an associate professor and is the former head and chairperson of the department of commerce and management west bengal state university barashat kolkata west bengal He also serves as the chairman of several boards and is the convener of postgraduate departmental committee commerce and management and the board of research studies department of commerce and management Dr Dhar occupies the post of program coordinator at NSS WBSU and is a member of sports board WBSU He also holds the post of state president WB and all india Vice President of Indian Academic Researchers Association. He is the adjunct professor in the Institute of Management Study, Kolkata, and also acts as the advisor in the Public Service Commission, West Bengal, India. He completed his master's degree in commerce from the University of Calcutta with first class and stood second. He also achieved a diploma in junior bookkeeping and accountancy from the Board of Commercial Education. West Bengal he completed his phd degree from the universe from the department of business management university of calcutta along with the professional qualifications from the icwai he achieved gdca in 1997 from lamier institute of information technology he has authored 20 books and also 112 research articles published in different regional national and international journals he has supervised 20 mphil dissertations and seven phd dissertations he has completed three eugc sponsored minor research projects till date and also completed one major research project sponsored by the indian council of social science research icssr in short Dr Dhawan has received delayed honoris causa in management from Commonwealth Vocational University in December 2017 at World Management Congress December Kolkata. He received distinguished teacher award from International Multidisciplinary Research Foundation in January 2018. He has also received delayed honoris causa in banking and finance from international economic university in 2018 at sri perumbudur he has also received iprf educational excellence award 2018 for excellence in the area of banking and finance at christ university pune now 
I'm sorry, Dr. Dhar's profile is too long to present within this short period of time. So I am ending here. Thank you. And over to Dr. Manna again. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Rao. Dr. Dhar will deliver his lecture on mental health and music therapy of youth in new normals. Now, uh, without further ado, we will turn the time over to Dr. Dhar. Dr. Dhar, please. Thank you, Dr. Manna, respected principal, sir. Uh, respected Dr. Shandhi Poddar, sir. Respected Dr. Anita Menon. And all the learned friends and colleagues. And uh, I think I'm the last speaker, so everything has been discussed. Nothing more to discuss. Only I'll ask you one question. Uh, please answer in the chat box. How are you? If I get answer, then I will move. How are you? There is no answer. How are you? Not really getting. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very fine. Fine. So this should be the answer. We are all fine. That means mentally we are not dying. Lots of channels and uh, let's say it from panic to pandemic, then from panic marketing to panic monopoly, then uh, vaccinopoly, everything is there. But still we answer that we are fine. This should be the need of the hour if you are mentally good. And already told everything by Dr. Poddar, I'll not be going, but we'll, show, we'll be showing you something else. Let me share my screen. Are you able to see it? Yes, yes, it is clear. Okay, thank you. So, sustaining mental health and immunity. For sustaining physically, your mental health and immunity needs to be sustained. Sustained. This is the need of the hour. And for that, some simple uh, steps are to be followed. Nothing harder. Uh, lots of immunity tips by, given by every day, everybody in Facebook. And we see that everybody has become doctor. Everybody has become expert. But these are certain steps to be followed as rightly pointed out by Dr. Sandeep Padda. Firstly, these simple steps are to be followed. First of all, connect with others. Imagine a situation of this lockdown without this thing, without Facebook, without TV channels, without newspapers, without WhatsApp, and even this chat box is disabled by the host. You cannot write anything. I'm the host now. If I'm, I go to the security and uh, disable the chat box, then you are not able to any, uh, write anything. So if this could be the situation, then this could have been a really grave situation. We are fortunate enough that now we are not at all with those. We have our Facebook friends, our WhatsApp friends. We have our media. We have our newspaper and we can talk to them virtually. A very wrong word was being used by everybody, being the administrators, being the politicians, being everybody. That is social distancing. Sorry. My very good friends like uh, Dr. Amita Boroy, Dr. Oshim Manna, uh, uh, Dr. Navanita Chattopadhyay, and uh, everybody in this college, uh, lots of people are very much known to him, uh, known to me, uh, like uh, Professor Deepak Vishas. I know much of them. If I could not name some of them, or if they were not my friends at all, then how could I live? So the term could be like that. Avoid physical social distancing, but try to sustain mental social distancing. This could be the language, but this was not so. Only the fear factor was there. Now, to make myself enchanted, the simple steps are to be followed. First of all, connect with others, develop and keep strong relationships with people who will support you. 
then plan play and plan plan for some fun make time every day to enjoy something you really like to do i like those people who enjoy their birthday and give the photos in the facebook who cook every day and give the photo in the facebook they feel themselves enchanted made with jealousy of others but they are feeling very happy so you love life you laugh and laughter can recharge you some people are paying for the laughing clubs but if you laugh at home with your family you are recharged ask for help now everybody hit bombs on in the road ask a friend coworker or a teacher for help and adv advice don't feel yourself shy take care of yourself it's easier to feel happy if your body feels good do a lots of exercise enjoy a good breakfast drink water sensibly have a healthy snack and eat a balanced diet physical and mental health are tied together be good to your body do good to your body now rest you must need a rest as our physical exercise is minimized physical work is minimized so we need some mental rest also to balance both of them sleep restores both your mind and body aim for 7 hours of sleep at least go to the bed get up at a regular time each day 1 hour before bed time turn off your phone your phone is a very good thing and a very bad thing as well turn off your phone and computer take some take some time to relax please relax don't get tense even in this meeting also i am seeing some persons who are frequently moving out and in and they are very tense Uh, give me the feedback form give me everything raising their hand and so on so on for them friends be relaxed everything is be re being recorded if you ask dr manna he will give he will send you in your uh, uh, email id the recording so get relaxed maybe the connectivity issue maybe some other issue so don't get tense if you have trouble if you have trouble in sleeping only lay in bed for half an half an hour and then get up and go into another room or sit in a chair read, read a book or watch tv no not the news channel and then try to sleep again and then you'll get sleepy now deal with stress stress management needs to be practiced now pay attention to what makes you stressed where you feel it in your body and how you react to it this will help you to better manage your stress learn to express anger anger management is very much needed when i was 20 years old i was very angry with everything of my parents but when i am 30 years old i uh, felt that my father is no more in the world so i have to stay with my mother so uh, i uh, my anger got reduced now i am a 48 so i know that i have to compromise compromise both in my family and also at my workplace anger is not a thing to do everywhere so if you are able to control your anger if you are able to do with your anger management even in the class even in the uh, road side even in every place you are only you are only able sorry mane ye critical condition bol na to emne normal pete diye dito very sorry to mute you all uh, learn to express anger when it's small instead of allowing it to build relaxation breathing yoga or meditation can help think about today too often we are thinking about the past or planning for the future instead of living in the present you focus on the living in the moment don't think too much of the future give back please look back in your goldies your golden memories volunteer for a cause or an issue you care about help out a coworker neighbor or a friend find ways to contribute it, it can help you feel good about yourself and who you are in the world then challenge yourself very good to see in the facebook somebody is having sari challenge somebody somebody is having cooking challenge so this is needed engage yourself in challenging yourself learn a new skill 
or set a difficult goal try something different commit to fitness or a healthy eating goal learn to cook something new or learn a new computer skill believe me during this uh, four months or five months of lockdown i have learned everything like how to prepare a certificate how to convey uh, convey in a zoom meeting how to convey at least uh, seven eight uh, platforms i have learned uh, to, for the meeting and what are the decency and decorum in those meetings i have learned so every day is a day that they are learning how to record how to keep record of your classes so as a teacher i have learned so similarly you have also and you are you are also learning every day drink less alcohol already uh, told by dr poddar and avoid all other drugs that may endanger your life and uh, prevent or reduce your immunity so talk about your feelings you must be having very good friends then maybe your age or not but there are some good friend of yours talking about your feelings with the friends can help you stay in good mental health and deal with times when you feel troubled then keep active i think there are some problems uh, so again i am muting all so experts believe that exercise release chemicals in your brain that make you feel good regular exercise can boost your self esteem and help you concentrate sleep sleep and feel better then eat well your brain needs a mix of nutrients in order to stay healthy and function well just like the other organs in your body a diet that's good for your physical health is also good for your mental health now drink sensibly already discussed keep in touch here's nothing better than catching up with someone face to face but that's not always possible you can also give them a call drop them a note or chat to them online instead keep the lines of communication open it's good for you then ask for help already mentioned that when you are in need you ask for help take a break this is the new normal condition although some positives are there not only some statistics some death and everything this is the situation you are please give some time to your own your you your me enjoy the me time do something you are good at what do you love doing it is music it's dance it's poetry i know dr manna is uh, is a very good uh, music writer and uh, his wife is a very good uh, singer dr amita roy is a very good uh, poet and he is uh, writing lots of books he is doing lots of literature navanita chattopadhyay is a very well well known speaker he she gives very good speeches she uh, loves nss and other social work likewise people what they are loving they must be doing so to make themselves engaged and to get them themselves free from this stress now accept who you are this self acceptance is very much needed we are all different it's much healthier to accept that you are unique than to wish you were more like someone else my wife likes me to be dev in figure to be like bill gates in uh, my bank account and uh, to be like uh, the uh, tolstoy or someone else like in Uh, my profession but i cannot be so i am only pranamdhar and i am happy with what ha- i am so you have to accept you have to accept who you are then care for others friends are really important now you can map your friend friend in need 
is a friend indeed. We can help each other whenever we can. So it's a two way street and supporting them uplifts me. Now looking forward to your mental health, why you have to stay at home. The government is telling us to stay at home and only go outside for food, health reasons or essential work, especially in the lockdown days. To stay two meters, that is six feet away from other people and wash our hands as soon as we get home. This will mean that more of us will be spending a lot of time at home and many of our regular social activities will no longer be available to us. It will help to try and see it as a different period of time in your life and not necessarily a bad one, even if you didn't choose it. It will mean a different rhythm of life, a chance to be in touch with others in different ways than usual. So be in touch with other people regularly on social media, email or on the phone as they are still there are still good ways of being close to the people who matter to you. Create a new daily routine that prioritizes looking after yourself. You could try reading more or watching movies, having an exercise routine, trying new relaxation techniques or finding new knowledge in the internet. Try and rest and view this as a new, if unusual experience that might have its benefits. Make sure your wider health needs are being looked after, such as having enough prescription medicines available to you. Try to avoid speculation. This is very much needed. I'm the teacher of commerce and economics, so I can make you assured that rumors and speculation can fuel anxiety. Having access to good quality information about the virus and also the real economic and other sociological conditions, political conditions, everything, everything is known to you because every information is at hand. So it can help you feel more in control. Follow hygiene advice, such as washing your hands more, than, more often than usual for 20 seconds with soap and hot water. And uh, while um, uh, washing your hands, you can sing like this. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. So every second you are born, every second you are having your new birth, you can feel this. You should do this in chorus. And whenever you get home or into work, blow your nose, sneeze or cough, eat or handle food. If you cannot wash your hands straight away, use hand sanitizer and then wash them at the next opportunity. You should also issue, use tissues if you sneeze and make sure you dispose them off quickly and stay at home if you are feeling unwell. Try to stay connected. Already, already discussed that. Try to get read out of stress management and only medicine is to keep you active, to keep you connected like this in the webinar, in some other form, in discussions, in conversations, in your work and so on, in your classes. So talk to your children. You just think during your hard work, you never, never uh, give time to your quality time to your family. You never talk to your children. You were very busy in your work. Now you have found time. Now you please talk to your children, involve your family and children in our plans for good health is essential. We need to be alert to and ask children what they have heard because this corona is a new thing to your children. They cannot understand. The adolescent and the nascent people cannot understand why they are at home, why they have to wear masks. And today's newspaper itself depicts that without wearing masks by the these nascent and adolescent people can cause greater harm to your family. So uh, give them a quality time and make them understand what is going on. And without causing them alarm in a mild way, we need to minimize the negative impact it has on our children and explain the facts to them Discuss the news with them, but try and avoid overexposure to coverage of the virus. Be as truthful as possible. Let's not avoid the scary topic, but engage in a way that is appropriate for them. We have more advice on talking with your children about the coronavirus outbreak. Try to anticipate distress. Now you're at home. Don't feel yourself at trauma, but 
you make your students you make your children and you you make your family members understand that you are re in real distress within one year or two years or so it will not go but you have to anticipate what is the nature of the distress that's why you have to control your feelings just like your purchasing power is very much limited because your income is fixed but your expenditures are increasing and in spite of all the insurance companies announcing that covid insurance is there in real cases you have to incur lots of out of pocket cost you may have to incur because uh, within a month we are going to be infected 1 lakh per day so that may create a problem everybody or most of us might get infected also the although the death rate is very minimal but we may get infected and for that we have to incur much out of pocket cost and for that you have to same save you have to save some part of your income and that's why you have to make your children understand please don't go for uh, high price mobile phone please don't go for high price bike and this festival might it be puja or eid or christmas you can control your uh, purchase uh, for this year or for the half of the next year or so unless the vaccine is tested and it is in the disease in control so try to anticipate your distress try not to make assumptions don't judge people and avoid jumping to conclusions uh some problem konna jaachu so try not to make assumptions don't judge people and avoid jumping to conclusions about who is responsible for the spread of the disease the corona virus can affect anyone regardless of the gender ethnicity or sex try to manage how you follow the outbreak in the media don't go for always the media try to avoid the media do do go for other channels specifically the music channels financial news this is the right platform to discuss definitely you have some financial worries that's why you use your budget tool there are three things you have to predict your future incomes your future expenditures and your future liabilities then only you are able to make yourself understand what are your future assets and net real assets with you you have to map it do some homework with all your insurance policies all your savings all your investments all your uh, uh, sip and all that uh, so that you can map your insurance policies you just get them renewed and active because you need some mortgage for some out of pocket cost for your health expenditure this is an additional expenditure you never even thought of find out what help you might be entitled colleges have their cooperatives universities have their cooperatives and you have some very good friends and relatives whom you help in their tough time now th think of them and prepare a probable list of them who can help you out in this pandemic in this critical situation when even a dead body is not being touched by uh, your friends and family members then how could they help you physically and financially you can make a list and you can prioritize this is the need of the hour then check your insurance policies already discussed you renew your insurance policies and make them activated and life cover critical illness cover mortgage insurance even home insurance sometimes offer legal advice what you don't know you take the advice of your legal advisor if you have a mortgage or other major commitment try and speak to your leader soon they will they may help think about groups already talked uh, maybe due to hospitality for action for charity and your neighborhood club and etc you make a list of them because when you are in trouble you can give a list to your family members they can call them one by one with their family with their mobile numbers and everything you, their whatsapp number their email id uh, you can make a list so that at your emergency your family members could help you in this way also these are of scams you are in pandemic both in in health and in economic pandemic but the situation is not so worse that you have to think about the reinvestment in such sources which are not known to you 
there are two types of pandemic going on all over the world one is health another is financial pandemic and this financial pandemic is caused caused by the money launderers by the fraud people who are sending you every day mails whatsapp and uh, messages that you have one such type of thing you invest in this kind of fund and no go go for this scam you use true caller to uh, go with the calls uh, check them before even uh, catching the call before taking the call you check every call we are of scammers unemployment problem no no friend sorry to say uh, being an economist being a commerce teacher i know very well that uh, although in march 2020 there was a fever uh, fear that gdp uh, of india is going down and uh, might be going down uh, to beginning 2021 at 1.2 or so but the situation is not that uh, much worse now because you see uh, lots of giant economies of the world like uk usa and so on uh, they are G gdp is also uh, uh, decreasing and decreasing far below the normal that is even below zero they are also decreasing so in this new situation some new employment opportunities already have grown and some new ways are coming out like you see the lots of e contents they are marketing e marketing digital marketing uh, uh, e uh, advertisement and everything is going in a new way and some new employment opportunities are created uh, that is the uh, uh, survival of the fittest already mentioned by the by dr podda but but in a, in a new way uh, we have all, also to think about the product life cycle product life cycle has different stages, stages but from the uh, maturity to saturation then there is a decline but from decline there is again a maturity situation so employment situation will again grow you don't have to panic housing this housing is not only maintenance of your house you have to think about the mortgage the uh, emi for that house the uh, condition the insurance uh, uh, burglary insurance theft insurance uh, uh, and other types of insurance of that house now you have got the time that you are at home this is not a punishment this is not a punishment at all friend uh, you think it positively that you maintain your house both physically and financially and stay home stay safe and stay healthy my uh, lecture has not at all finished but i am going in a new topic that is music therapy nobody has talked nobody has discussed but this music therapy has a very old history our administrators uh, both central and state should think and rethink that music therapy especially for the elderly and the most younger people you know, music therapy can help you make mentally boost up this music therapy uh, suppose i stop sharing and i uh, okay i am unmuting you all you can unmute and i am asking you have you ever asked your friend that is the policeman working in street you have a very bitter relation with them and during the lockdown they have caught you and uh, asking only why you were out in these day days have you ever asked them with this note tu hi re tu hi re tere bina main kaise jiyu have you asked them in this way no music therapy can do a lots of good coming to that there is a very old history of music therapy and you see in 1849 report and suchetana uh, are you here suchetana Yes, sir. I'm. I'm here, sir. Can you hear? Yes, yes. Please. So uh, yes. I'll call you after some time. So sure. uh, please be in the video, and I'll uh, call you. Okay, okay. So am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. It is a very old history in 1849. Report of the commissioners uh, of um, Burport uh, Asylum, uh, Quebec. Uh, that is uh, during the World War Two. in 1945 people were very distressed because lots of people have lost their lives 
and the musicians went to different veterans hospitals especially the older people there uh, sons and daughters have died due to war and these uh, team musicians went the uh, different uh, went to different hospitals and they checked their patients mental physical and emotional responses columbia university offered the first music therapy course in 1941 a national foundation for music therapy was established in the usa and uh, new training courses in michigan state uh, university in 1944 very old history kansas university in um, 1946 national anthem of music therapy in us uh, the related activities in uk and lots of music courses are being learned everywhere till 1950s from 1950s till 2011 and uh, till now music therapy has become popular for the remedial measure other than prescribed medicines now what does music therapy do music therapy is taught by uh, prominent universities i am showing you the list that is honors bachelor of music therapy program in lots of prominent universities of usa uk and other many prominent countries of the world have you ever thought that in your uh, 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 quarantine centers where the lots of veteran people are there have you ever thought of asking them uh, and uh, uh, think about the uh, situation that very light music is there and it is going on amar bhitor bahire antare antare acho tumi hriday jure amar bhitor bahire it it gives a sense that we are living we are living this is the confidence with this confidence we can live forget about the past forget about the pandemic and if you give a mental boost up to every uh, uh, traffic that uh, rightly introduced by our honorable chief minister of west bengal in every traffic guard in every quarantine center in every hospital in every uh, uh, operation theater if the loud light mu music is going on tum mile dil khile aur jeene ko kya chahiye so i am giving only examples you may differ but it can move it can have a positive impact and you see lots of universities they are not uh, very literate one very prominent universities like uh, wilfrid uh, laurier university ontario university of windsor ontario Acad acadia university nova scotia uh, capilano university british columbia canadian uh, university of manitoba Uh, concordia university of quebec they are all doing their music therapy and with their music therapy they are able to make every good sense of their person especially those who are in mental pandemic rather than physical so what is music therapy music therapy is a systematic process of intervention wherein the therapist helps the client to achieve health using musical experiences and the relationships that develop through them as dynamic forces of change now what is music therapy it is not a teaching of music not about only teaching the some uh, note notations it is a concept of change it is a change of social and humanistic psychological roots the areas of change may be in the areas of communication cognition physical social emotional and neurological functioning it uh, has an has a positive impact on all ages all groups all individuals and what is music therapy diverse setting specialized hospital treatment centers preschool schools hospitals residential homes uh, quarantine centers for uh, visual or hearing impairment uh, hospices um, probations prison private practice everywhere this music therapy works and already in, uh, explained what is music therapy i'll not go into go into the details i've already explained that it, it can work very well in surgery rooms clients on kidneys Uh, kidney dialysis uh, cancer uh, uh, premature or sick infants now i'll take a break i'll get you introduced uh, uh, but i'll not end up here i'll end up uh, with two lines uh, but before that let's get introduced to one of my research scholar and uh, i'm pinning the video uh, suchetan are you there yes sir i'm there can you hear okay. i'm pinning the video Uh, now you can get introduced to suchetan adey one of my research scholar in the department of commerce and management west bengal state university and uh, she is the fortunate daughter of the very able actress uh, our very own papia odhikari and now you will listen from her what she is doing
to boost up the people every day she has opened up a channel uh, with the help of which she is boosting up these people who are in pandemic he she is boosting up them mentally every wednesday isn't isn't it true suchetana yes sir yes sir so you please go on with your what you were saying thank you dinesh bandhu andrew college for organizing this one day seminar of uh, mental health in the youth uh, and thank you the management for inviting me and i thank dr pranam sir and all the resource person who are present here today uh, my name is suchitana de and so we all are in pandemic so during this moment when there is time and when we have lost our jobs absolutely it's this is the best time to use it for ourselves i have a channel on facebook name man akela ho gaya hai it's a very negative word i am very alone it means in english i'm a khub aka in bengali are fighters who are living like there is corona fighters corona warriors all our teachers our organizers all college people no you have to do it you attend sir you have radio it's a poetry channel where i use music as a therapy sir just now said dr dhak said music and songs are very important it boosts up our mind in our body when we be when we listen to music we can do exercise when we listen to music we get energy when we can listen to music we concentrate so i have come up with this program of mixing and matching poetry and music together and boosting each other so if you want to you can listen to my face man akela ho gaya hai even the national and the international resource personals who are present can come and join this program can listen on every 11 uh, every wednesday 11 pm and even if you go to the page you can listen the recording and i think all the you the new normal you have to make it normal because you are the light so therefore you have to continue you have to listen to your adults who are your senior you have to go with their thoughts use your but you have to move on you have to get up early in the morning not 11 o'clock at least 9 o'clock you have to do exercise you have to eat you have to do daily chores you have to work and at the same time you have to also listen to man akela ho gaya hai and be a researcher i have to also do my research thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much suchetana and i'll end up with just uh, two lines i'll share my screen and uh, to boost up your confidence i request everybody to sing with me we shall overcome we shall overcome we shall overcome some days Oh, deep in my heart, we do believe, do believe you shall overcome, overcome something. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome something. Oh, deep in my heart, we do believe we shall overcome something. With this. thank you so much we shall overcome we shall overcome some days and uh, i think uh, we have to get ourselves charged mentally we cannot really go out of this pandemic but mentally we can boost ourselves without going to the ories think about the positive ones
so with this thank you all very sorry for taking your time and i express my heartfelt gratitude to the organizers especially to the principal sir and also our very own and very beloved and respected dr rasim manna it's over to you sir okay thank you thank you so much dr dhar for that illuminating lecture on such a relevant issue thank you for sharing with us Let those me just, uh, uh, give one line uh, that uh, to dr manna i am not dr dhar i am only pronoun and he <laughs> my very respected and beloved elder brother we have been the uh, alumni of university of calcutta and for many years we not only love both of us then uh, we also appraise lots of work he is a very good writer he is uh, writing uh, lots of songs and uh, our very respected um, bodhi his wife she is a very good singer so we are in touch and this only is a medicine to boost you up there are some questions in the chat box so now if you allow the question, question answer session then uh, uh, oh okay uh, now it is the time for the interactive session to begin uh, due to a emergency meeting professor menon is not able to answer any question now if you have any question to professor anitha madam then uh, contact her through her email id now uh, i request dr satarupa dotto assistant professor of her department to conduct the session and uh, requested to ask the question uh, to the other two speakers only now over to satarupa dotto thank you sir am i audible sir yes very much uh, okay. yes 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 okay thank you sir uh, at outset i uh, thank all the eminent speakers for their uh, insightful deliberations and i hope that all the participants has immensely benefited from this uh, their encouraging and inspiring words uh, so the first question uh, to dr sandeep poddar uh, sir are you there sir yes 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 uh, sir uh, there is a question to you uh, do you think we have to pass through depression to reach the growth zone yes dr krishna choudhury from dinamondu andrews college raised this question Yes. thank you madam for raising this question no actually what i told depression is always with us we are somewhat depressed in every morning to evening we are depressed in such a some somehow rather something we are not feeling that we want that we cannot get that so everything is not perfect what we get, want that we cannot get immediately as per the need so we are getting depressed in that time suppose morning i am preparing a tea admit um, so morning we are preparing a tea so that tea may be uh, giving little bit time more so it become bitter taste so it is not our expected thing that we get a bitter tea so we feel depressed that tea is not right at the morning itself so that is the thing you can see the advertisement of colgate and etc that they giving that white toothpaste it like a pigeon stool so we are become gel so it will make us fresh that the mind will be fresh that we will not get depressed that we are um, uh, brushing with a what you call white uh, toothpaste but that white toothpaste also good so we have to keep in mind that whatever we are getting that is our we have we are what you call we are expected to get that only okay so so we have to be means depressed means we have to uh, what to call we don't have to go through that taste taste for going to the reaching to the growth zone it is of our mindset we are getting depressed or not okay madam thank you for asking this question okay thank you sir thank you so much uh, next question to uh, dr pranam bhar uh, if a person likes to listen to music but however uh due to this prolonged lockdown and a disorientation of thoughts he does not prefer listening to songs how can he cope with the situation uh, so uh, i got this uh, question from singh snigdha sarkar i already uh, read it uh, but uh, i'll answer with another example of uh, very uh, a person very close to me my contemporary and my elder brother dr sandeep poddar when he is very much depressed i am seeing you 
in different journals, different publications, different conferences. When he's so bored with himself, uh, just uh, you ask him, he's over here. He's uh, spending quality time with his electric guitar and playing lots of uh, good music. So only music can boost you up. This is one of the way to boost you up and uh, to answer straight away to uh, Professor Shorker, uh, when a person doesn't like medicine, the medicine has to be given forcefully. You just uh, practice it at your home. Uh, even Dr. Sumit Poddar, uh, sorry sir, to unfold, uh, very famous doctor at Kolkata and elder brother of Dr. Sundip Poddar. He is doing lots of uh, rigorous uh, surgery and everything. When he is bored, he is very mentally tired up. You see in the Facebook, he is very laughingly and smilingly uh, 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 used to uh, sing uh, lots of Ravindra Sangeet very effectively. Lots of Bhakti Gitis I have seen, seen him and uh, with a smiling face. So uh, what you are and what you have to be is only in your control. You are only the driver. You are having a gear and an accelerator and a brake in your hand of your mind. So you are the driver of your mind. So if you practice it at home, like meditation, uh, meditation. music that will also have help you can go uh, listening to different types of music and uh, very rhythmic music when you are doing exercise very cool music and when you are going to sleep and that is uh, uh, going to work effectively and this is a, a research outcome not my own words thank you for the question thank you sir thank you so much uh, now over to Oshin sir Okay, uh, the interactive session is over. Now I, I request uh, Orpon Tamang to deliver vote of thanks. Orpon. Sir, Manna sir, for before the vote of thanks, I must thank uh, Dr. Manna sir that when he uh, called me, that as Pranam sir told, that he is the elder, but he called, Pranam has told me to contact with him. <laughs> so thank you, Dr. Manna sir. And Somnath sir is uh, very well known to me from very beginning. So thank all of you and stay safe, wear mask, keep safe distance and maintain your health and hygiene first before we think about others. So thank you. Now we can proceed to the vote of thanks, sir. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Now you can start. Okay. Respected principals, honorable speakers, our most valued participants, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this webinar. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation for Dr. J. Anita Menon, Associate Professor, Department of Psychology in University of Zambia, for her valuable and precise deliberation on mental health of young people in the new normal. We are grateful to Dr. Sandeep Poddar, Senior Research Director, Lincoln University College, Malaysia, for his discussion and suggestion to overcome the challenges that we face in depression, the way in which we can go ahead. I also wish to express my gratitude to Dr. Pranamdhar, Associate Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, West Bengal State University, India, for giving an excellent lecture on how music therapy can improve the mental health of the youth in the, the new normal. Madam and sir, we all are inspired, enriched, and cultured a lot by your nice and valuable deliberations. I, on behalf of Dinabandhu Andrews College, Department of Commerce, and IQAC, let me call it the representative of you, young youth here together, and on my own behalf, extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all speakers for gracing your important work and sharing with us your knowledge and opinions today. Thank you, thank you ma'am and sir. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to place on record our hearty thanks to Ms. Antara Manna, student of our economics department for her nice technical support and guidance to conduct such a webinar. I would like to thank our beloved principal, beloved HOD, Dr. Asim Kumar Manna, all members, and last but not the least, our beloved participants for opting to be with us and making this webinar a grand success. 
once again i thank you all and everyone thank you thank you all thank so you over so to you sir thank you okay. so much okay okay uh, thank you all for Dr. taking Manu, time i take this opportunity just for one line i okay. also express my heartfelt gratitude to principal sir and dr roshan kumar manna and all the organizers for giving me a, a chance to speak thank you so much okay, and okay. Uh, obviously to dr sandeep poddar sir and dr anita menon ma'am for kindly cooperating because their time zone is different now it's almost uh, 8:30 uh, or almost uh, 8:15 Uh, so it's time for dinner for dr poddar so very sorry for keeping you here uh, thank you so much thank you thank you thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedule and being here with us today we hope to see you again in the next time the webinar is now over thank you but as a technical host i have to wrap up i will not uh, wrap up uh, simply but with a uh, line i am wrapping up चलते चलते मेरे ये गीत याद रखना स्टे सेफ स्टे एट होम स्टे वेल गॉड ब्लेस थैंक यू ओके थैंक्स थैंक्स प्रणाम